Endless lines on the road to Iskenderun, a devastated city's cry for help answered by a nation in shock, united in pain. These men tell us they drove more than eight hours carrying diapers, water and bread, whatever they can do to help strangers who need all they can get. Destruction in every corner of the city, no building spared Mother Nature's wrath. So even in this part of the city where buildings are still standing, you can see that there are cracks all over these buildings. They've sustained damage. So we're going to have to walk through here really fast. We just don't know how stable these structures are right now. In seconds, life shattered, livelihoods destroyed, a city and its people left broken. I'm confused. I don't know how to feel. Senseless. Server has been out here searching for his friend the only one left under the wreckage of this apartment building. No professional rescuers here, just volunteers, drawing floor plans for their search in the dirt. First day I was really hopeful, but this is the fourth day I'm, uh, I'm getting out of hope. Even happy endings here are overshadowed by the collective grief. Burak flew back from his home in London to find his sister and other relatives. It's a miracle they made it out. They were buried under the rubble for 15 hours, he tells us. I'm speechless, to be honest. I'm in a dream, very bad dream. Then I'm hearing, you know, so many of our friends dying here. So many of our relatives are dying. My feelings are all collapsed. I, I'm only breathing at the moment. Around the corner, we find Suhail overseeing the search mission here. For days, he's desperately been trying to get his parents out. Our government helps, but it's not enough, obviously. So we are trying to get our people by our own, and we need you. We need everyone who can come and help us. Suhail tells us he saw his mother's leg under the rubble. I am not able to reach her. Uh, she is there. I see her, but I cannot touch her. I understand. My mother is dead. I am trying to get my mother. With every passing hour, for many here, the agonizing wait ends as the gut-wrenching reality sinks in. Jamana Karache, CNN, Iskenderun, Turkey.